Hello guys, welcome back to Repurpose My Way. I am going to be working on today some lanterns that I started a long time ago and I ended up uh, not finishing them. So there's a bunch of pieces, parts that need to be glued on, uh, finished up, and then it can be stained or painted. I'm not really sure what my vision is for the finishes on it. I am thinking about using these mason jars. This one's pretty dirty, but I'm gonna wash it. But it's got one of these, I bought these separate. It's a little tea light holder. And it's got the little basket there and it just sits on the top of the um, mason jar like so. And then, um, I found these little, these aren't tea lights, these are votives, but they're battery operated. Um, and I don't know where I got them. I'm not sure. I think usually if I buy lights like this or battery lights, I try to get the timer ones. So I'm hoping these are timer votives. They take the little circle button batteries, which I'm hoping that I have some uh, left over. And um, so this just goes around the rim. Somehow. <laughs> there we go. It'll take some, some tweaking and some bending. But anyways, it goes on there and just sits uh, on top. And then it'll come on or you can take it out and turn it on whenever you decide you want it and then I have these pit berries um, I lean towards the primitive decor and these are like a burgundy and then this is like a mustard color hopefully you can see see those my, my blue <laughs> my blue gray stain all over me um, so I have another project I'm working on but I'm waiting for that to dry so I thought I would do this one and bring you guys along for it. So I built, I built uh, the platform and the top, and then I, you know, cut out the pieces of wood for the uh, supports or columns, whatever you call it. And I, and this is all out of scrap wood. So you're gonna find pieces that have got uh, knots that fell out or whatnot. Um, but anyway, I had some of these round balls that have a, like a flat top on them and I glued them on this one just fell off when I was sanding it but it hadn't even been sanded so I sanded it down I cut the um, put my little leg under there I cut the little pieces that I want to use to go in here and then they're not all uniformed so I um, put the number on the bottom corresponding to wherever they're gonna go on the lantern and then I cut out these nice little, I guess, U-shapes. Um, and they're going to go up top, like, and I numbered these as well. So this is number one. So this is going to go snugly, hopefully. Most of them are pretty good. Snugly up in here. And then that's going to make a little nice decorative um, but you, you know, this, this took a while and I didn't want to bring you along for all that because it's a lot of, um, measuring and fitting and it would just take, it would be a whole video just in showing you how to cut these down. This one I can see, I didn't do a real good job of fitting these pieces in, you can see, but it's okay because once it gets painted, you're not going to see that as much as long as if whatever paint you use or stain, you make sure you get in those cracks so that you can't see the bare wood in there. So um, I had one left on this one that I needed to do so I cut that one out and I labeled that one one and that spot one just so I would know. I mean I got two of them going on here. So to add a little decorative to the top I cut out some pieces a little bit smaller than the next then I had this little knob topper. It's a little handle knob. 
but I have a bunch of these and I always pick them up whenever I see them uh, where, if, as long as they're within reasonable price because they always work good for you could put them as feet put that you know underneath like so and you could have feet on there if you wanted to and I haven't decided if I want to do feet on this one or not it's a little bit taller than this one and this one has feet so um, I'm not sure so I did all the cutting out of everything anyway so that's gonna have the circular the little partial round topper and then I'm gonna put that on there and got to glue the other foot on put all these pieces on and then and I sanded everything already so once I get it all together I think I should be able to just um, figure out how I want to paint them I think it'll look really cute if you like rustic decor you'll like it um, some people would stain that and whitewash it I'm not against that either haven't decided I'm hoping by the time I get this all glued up and together, I'll have it figured out. <laughs> So I've decided to use my Minwax Stained Special Walnut Color. And that's what it looks like when it's wiped off. I've done the inside and now I'm finishing up the outside of it. Getting it all paint, uh, stained up. I really like this stain. It's one of my favorites. The Special Walnut. It just is such a pretty brown color. I love it. So this other lantern, I am giving it a coat of Rust-Oleum Black Flat Black spray paint, getting it all over. Once that's dry, I'll take it down and run my sander over it and distress it and get it all scuffed up. And then I will take my Rust-Oleum Clear spray, that's a sealer, and spray it all over and get that all nice and covered and sealed and then it should be ready to decorate. <laughs> 